Manual. All right, here we go. Famous Yorzhik is here with the portable studio. We are back in business officially. The famous Yorzhik is here to say uh, very important messages <laughs> to you. Oh, yeah. Here we are. It is about 11.50, 11.57, something like this. 12. 12. <laughs> Call it 12. Lunchtime. Today, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, we have seen here some changes. You hear that noise? You're going to be hearing that noise through the session. It is people cutting grass. And famous Yorzhik will tell you about the the smell of the cut grass yeah i just said that it's one of my favorite smells yes uh, on earth <laughs> all right with one, one hand i'm gonna continue the podcast with the other hand i'm gonna set up the studio i can do it for you oh my god what a supportive person here all right you set up the studio in just five seconds okay, why so. why haven't you set up the studio first because of the spontaneity of the Your nature of this podcast, sometimes we do things that people are asking not to do, but we do it anyway. Well, we have to listen to the gurus, and the guru said logic will get you where? Not far. Sometimes you have to go beyond logic. Okay, this is the phone. So I would say... It's a little wet. Here is a good suggestion from me for the beginning of, the, of this video. Logic will get you to some serious stuff. Life is serious. But music will get you beyond logic in the state of inspiration. So now you know. Logic uh, requires pen and paper. Thoughtful thinking about your future. And music is that magic place where you push the button and you go in creativity mode that's it did i say it short yeah so what we need more in our lives more logic or more music hey you you be the judge oh you need both oh for the nice balance for the nice balance we need both okay let me set here if we are properly all right because uh now we are good, almost good. Oh. The microphones. Oh yeah, yeah. How many times have you promised? I have the microphone, but it's not in my pocket. So you have the internal microphone. <laughs> You know these people who are voicing the dolls with yeah. their mouth closed? Oh yeah. Vent ventriloquist. Ventriloquist. Something like this. I I so much want to have this skill. By the way, ventriloquist like anything else, it's a skill. Believe it or not. Anyone can learn it. If you just go in YouTube, set your mind to become ventriloquist, I guarantee you in one month, you will be surprised of yourself. That's Can all. you try? I don't know. I, just I, try saying something with your yeah, mouth Yeah, that, that definitely, definitely the person that is about to try this thing, it's me, that is a fact. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to say a lot of things about He's the ventrilo... still moving. <laughs> All right, this is just attempt. My first attempt to become ventrilo... Ben... 
the person. And relocus is a desirable skill in the life of every, uh, every person. I guess it has to be some gut internal training of your stomach and your in your vocal cords deep inside your mouth. Throat. A deep throat. Yes. <laughs> Women should be a lot better because they have a deep throat. Sorry. It's a very misogynistic. Maso I, I know. There's a lot of misogynism in this channel. No. Alright. There shouldn't be any. Only respect. Respect. Yes. Yo. I respect you. Yo, respect you. Respect. I respect you. <laughs> yo, yo, respect, respect. So, what did you want to discuss? Ah, there's no topic. Oh! You're not going back to the old format? We oh, used to have I've... formats? Oh, the yeah, topics. Yeah. Oh yeah. The topic of today's video will be. And he is usually waiting for me to come up with an idea. 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 Gus Fraba. Gus Fraba. I don't know if I said it correct. <laughs> All right. Gus. Gus. Gus Fraba. Yes. All right, let's Just chill. How to chill when you're How... stressed? How oh. to <laughs> come to your senses? That's right. That's right. I have a few techniques, but here famous Yorick will explain the concept. What concept? I need the you to tell us. How do you have any hacks? How to chill quickly? Yes. Mm -hmm. How to come down? Yeah, I will show you. Now, when you are stressed in your life, like driving in the highway and all, all young motherfuckers are trying to cut me off and to go around me and why, why you do that? Now, understand the mechanics. This is not them, all right? It's not them. The, the drivers, it's not the wife that has not been having enough conversations with her husband nah, not really conversation but Gigi Bigi. anyway this is them it's nothing to do with you it's just them you're just driving happily your car but sometimes they like trying to mess up your universe and so you have to chill you have to right. here is your goal do not let them get in your mind that's the key what JR said about the mind? Who is JR? Jim Ron? Yes, what did he say? About the, mysteries the mind. Mysteries of the mind? Mysteries of the mind. Yeah, this is one of those mysteries of the mind. But what else he said? So, yeah, you should tell us, not me. Oh, uh -huh. I thought you knew. I don't know. Oh. I don't know everything. In his early lifetime? When he had this problem, the drivers, the weather, the list of all these things. External factors. Yes. Affecting his happiness. Yes, Mr. Shelf told him, Jim, stay guard at the door of your mind. That is something. Now, let's picture this. A mind. The door. The door. And, and a person. Guard. And who's the guard? Ooh. You, that's right. So stand guard on the door of your mind. This happens with a spear. Yeah, you can have an axe, you can have a sword, you can have like a, a, a shield, shielding, a nuclear. Uh, you can you can go to the quantum creation of a shield in your mind. Your mind is a virtual machine. It's your virtual machine that. If you know how to use, it will create your future. Is that true or true? Yeah. That's a good, good observation. A virtual machine that you can use to create your own future. But, there's always but. The butters are coming. The but, 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 this, but, but, but. Now, if you hear the word but, 
from a butter. A butter is a person that always like butting. Uh, let's go do that. Yeah, but we, yeah, but this. Let's buy this house. Yeah, but there's like 20 reasons not to buy. Wait a second. Okay, we're gonna buy it or we're not gonna buy it. Yeah, but this this pro these are the butters, all right? When you hear the butter, you say, Rostrava is just a butter. I am the guard in front of the door of my mind and I will not let the butter butting me around. <laughs> yes, because the butters, they, they butt, butt people around. The bamboozlers, they bamboozle people around. The liars, they lie people around. So that's my point. Picture yourself as a guard on the door of your mind. And you will have no problems. But is it enough to picture? Shouldn't you do anything? like? Yes, picture. Mental pictures are powerful. Okay, so that's it? That's, that's it. No, it doesn't sound right. No, it, you it, just have no to it's not that. It, yeah? it, it sounds right, but is it, that's it? Is that's it that's, all? That's all. To the recipe? Yeah, that's all. All you Cruz Frappa? <laughs> yes. Cruz Frappa, it's a, it's, a, it's a minor. We gotta get the major. The major is internal. The Cruz Frappa is a technique, it's external. It's just a trickery of your mind to calm down. Do we understand the concept? Yeah. What's the major? You. You keep your mind. You don't let people giving you their opinions. They're just their opinions. That's from another guru, right? I say people's opinions are just their opinions. No, you should listen, but you should you should no. not let affect your but, mood. Exactly, famous Yoshi. You should listen. Yeah, maybe they're right. Uh, no, you just you, you know they're not right. No. You just you just lost the, the perception of the guard on you should be asking, are they right? What, what, what if it's a constructive good opinion? Yes, what if it is? What if it is that? What if it's not? You it's entertain not, not. the virtual reality machine to have all these options. You question them, you question you, and that's it. And the Gruss Frabe, the Gruss Frabe is just a technique, one of those techniques. I have my own technique. I'll tell you mine. Now, when you got the stress, actually the stress, now let's explain the stress. I don't see any stress here, there's no stress here, there's no any stress here. There's no stress in the universe. Yeah. Where is the stress? People say, oh, I'm a lot of stress, it's like, where is it? I don't see it. It's in your mind. A stress? It's, let's call it a acute animal that people let into their mind. They create it, they feed it. It grows like a monster and they become lunatics. And they point at the other normal people and say, oh, those are the lunatics. I'm not the lunatic. I just have enough stress in my life. You don't have stress in your life. And when you tell the people, the lunatics, oh, I also have stress in my life, they say, you don't know my stress. Well, to those people, we can tell them, well, you don't know mine. Yeah, everybody thinks that he is. That's right. Everybody thinks it's a. My job is the hardest. That's my right. My stress is the biggest. Yeah. And uh, we all believe that we are the most important person in the world, which is true. It's like almost a, a, a solipsism. Um. You should. No, you should have a little solipsism in yourself. But this is, this is kind of, you know. Who is then the most important person in the world? If There's not no you. such thing. Ah, oh, that's a good concept. That's We're all important. Yes. We are all. If love is the whole, we are all pieces. We are all pieces of the love. Yeah. Can you be in love with a madman who is like a lot of stress and he's life is oh, falling it's, apart it's irrelevant who is in love with whom i just ask a question <laughs> this is a question hello yeah 
I don't know. Can it be with a in, in love with a with a with a uh, with a madman who is destroying his life literally and destroying yours as well because you are around him and you love him. Maybe I don't know. Yes. Quite possible. It is. Yeah. You've been experienced that, I believe. <laughs> Yes, you did. Thank you for the support. That madman was me. Oh, no? Man. Ah, all right. Okay. So, all the Gruß Frabe is just this. When you are stressed, it's from that movie over there, like with Adam Sandler, and yours will demonstrate. How. No, I don't know. I have never seen the movie. You don't? Oh, you, don't, you have not seen the movie? Ha! If you have stress in your life, go, you're gonna be laughing. This is Adam Sandler going nuts, going mad. And he goes to the psychologist, uh, like uh, Nicolas Cage. Uh, no, Nicolas Cage, the... Someone else. Uh, it's, a, it's a brilliant actor, the best actor, one of the best in the world. Um, anyway, the guy from the... Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins, yeah. So he goes to Anthony Hopkins and he say, uh, listen, I'm stressed, my life is falling apart. And uh, Anthony Hopkins in that movie is a psychologist. So he said, okay, I can fix this guy. And he tells him, anytime you are stressed, you just say, Goose Fraba. Goose Fraba. That's it. That's the, that's the whole idea. Mm -hmm. And the technique is something like this. When you are stressed, you do like this posture. And all your worries fly away. If you practice enough, it will work. Now, if you are hesitant even to accept the idea, don't even bother to try it. I have another idea that I invented myself. It is related with stress that comes from external sources, especially people. This is my technique. It goes like this. This is the... I do it, I've trained myself like a dog to do it in autopilot. Sometimes when I don't hear enough information, that may be words, sounds or anything, I put my mind in a question mode. And I usually instinctively would do this. Just watch me, next time you will recognize it. Somebody is talking and I just stop the guy in his think and I say wait a minute and you have to point I your point finger I, to the guy. Yeah, I don't I'm just saying this is it is this gesture and wait a minute combination for me I have trained myself as a dog to do that in order to elicit more information from the person because sometimes people talk too fast you don't understand them you don't understand what they say so I just stop my mind. It's more like for me, it's not to stop him. The gesture is for to get attention from the person to point the fact that I did not get what he said. Try to explain something to me. This is demonstration, yes? What do you want me to explain? Something in your scripting, like the how the... Oh no, please, I'm please, afraid come on. people. It's my lunch break and he's trying to make me... Explain to me what you was talking with your colleague right now. I can't. Why? What, what do you mean you can't? I can't do it. I'm busy. No, no, just try to <laughs> put it in my mind. Tell me the problem, tell me the solution. It's that simple. Anything in life is like this. Explain the problem. You, you. By the way, if you cannot verbalize the problem, this is a good tip for you. If you can clearly verbalize the pro problem, we are already in the solution sta stage. Try to explain yeah, the that's, problem. That's true, that's true. But most of the people cannot even verbalize the problem. They know there is a problem internally. Tell me the problem. There's no problem. No, no. It's just, there, there are some issues that we have to fix in the in that big database of trillions of transactions and whatever. What is it? Just timing out. Different issues. Like, tell me one issue. Timing out. Timing out. Wait a minute. What is timing out? You have a query 
and it's running too. Wait a minute. What is a query? Query is a request to retrieve information. Ah, interesting. All right. You see, anytime I don't understand, I say, wait a minute. Go further. Elaborate. Explain. Tell me. Because you cannot throw at me bunch of words that I don't even understand and to make sense of even... So maybe you should yeah. ask. <laughs> no, it's good to ask. Why not ask? Why not ask? All right. Now you can say something yourself. I have to return to home calls. Oh. And I'm just watching the birds, how they find their food easily. Do you see that bird with a small little worm? Yeah. Easy. You just go out. <laughs> Life is simple. Find what whatever is on the floor and eat it. Yes. What else they think about? What do you think they think about? Ah. Mating. I don't, I don't know what they think about, but... I, uh, Eggs, baby birds, yeah. migration. Sim oh, they have enough problems too. Simple, simple things. It's simple, but it's still stressful. Oh, I don't think they... Flying here, flying from here, uh, trying to escape um, the predators. natural predators. I think that's the only stress they have when the predators show up. Building Otherwise, a nest. Uh, that, that's not stress for them. They don't know this type of stress. You think it's a building a nest, it's a stress because you have to buy a house for one million dollars and to no, submit it's to... not that, but they have to find the stuff. Do you remember we were watching several birds, like two birds, and how one of them was finding the small little branches for his nest and he was constantly dropping it? So it's stressful. We were watching no. him. He was doing it like 10 times. For he him, was... that's not stressful. He's picking um, the branch in his little beak, then he's flying to the like potential nest pot and then he's about to place it there and it falls down and it's like high then it goes back down uh, th then the bird goes back down he flies he <laughs> takes another branch he goes up again he's about to place it in the potential nest pot and it falls down again it was like Sisyph of coming for him. That's right. So yeah, I think it's pretty stressful. So. No, for them it's not stressful. For them that's a normal life. They do normal things like walking. This for him is like walking. Now the stress comes when the fox shows up. Okay. Now the bird goes in stress and the natural way to do it's called play dead. You know that there are some pigeons in real stress goes beyond their brain logic and instinct Ooh. and they pretend they are dead it's raining. and the fox walks away yeah it's like oh he's dead must be sick that's Something. right natural instinct to deal with stress for birds not for people pretend you, when you are on stress in the office now let's picture that you go to Manhattan the office and there's a lot of computer work and all of a sudden you fall dead on the floor and your colleague comes and what's up, what's up, Maria, Maria is dead, quickly, quickly, ambulance, everybody and you just stand up and oh no, I was just pretending that I was dead because why? there was a lot of stress, you know don't stress me that much next time be considerate Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations! A beautiful rain has poured on us for the first. It's not pouring; it's just starting to rain, but it's very cold. Oh. Can you feel? No. I can feel that it's very cold. Uh, I see. Cold for you? Mhm. Mm not that cold for me. For me, it's a blissful rain of Jesus. <laughs> or Jesus, or Allah. Oh. And the sky? The sky, it is to be Very mentioned. Foggy. It has to be mentioned and it must be shown. All right, we're gonna give you, we're gonna give you the beauty of the city today. All right, we have 25 minutes, famous Jozik. 
Wow. This was 25 minutes. You, That's just enough. You're vlogging around, right? I'm vlogging. <laughs> you was vlogging around? I was. It's just literally mm, kind of damp. Huh? It's kind of damp. I don't know. Are we wrapping up? Oh, yeah, you can say something at the end of the vlog. Oh, look at this, a tree, wow. A tree that gives us shelter. Not really, but just <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> okay, you can you can say something for the end. Yeah. What do you say for the end of the of the podcast? Just people, be happy. Wait, and wait, be wait, kind. wait a second, wait a no. second. Wait a second. Where don't interrupt me when I give the important message to your audience. Okay, what's the important message? Be happy and be kind. That's not important, Yoshi. That's very important. There's That's, more. Imp this is the only important. There's thing. more important things. Then you say. It. Okay, go to t-shirtstatement.com. Oh, go to okay. t-shirtstatement.com. T-shirtstatement.com. You're gonna find 100,000 t-shirts with all different designs. 1,000 t-shirts per day. New great ideas are uploaded you're gonna be lost in varieties of colors designs materials you're gonna be blown away these people they pay me great deal of money for me to be doing these vlogs okay if you get anything out of this vlog you must go please go please please go t-shirtstatement.com yeah. all right famous Yoshi. just like he said now you say about the i already did oh what was that be happy and be kind right all right, let me let me push this button. Let me push this button. Podcast over.